Hey ladies, Donna Piero again. I'm going to be making another bruschetta dish for you guys. I know you have a lot of bruschettas, but this is a hearty bruschetta, which also actually can turn into an entree. So I'm going to kind of double up this recipe so that I can actually submit it next week too for the entree dish. Okay, uh, I've got my bread set up, which I'm going to brush with olive oil, which again, I have flavored with garlic, salt, and pepper. And I'm going to put them under the broiler, which I have preheating. I got a package of fresh shiitake mushrooms and a package of shallots. Also, I have flank steak. Now, what I do when I go to the market, when I come home with my flank steak, um, I prep it prior to putting it in the freezer um, so that when I defrost it, it marinates easily as it defrosts. So what I did was I um, cut it, you know, cross cut it, so that it would be nice and tender, a little olive oil, a little garlic, and boom, I threw in the freezer. So now I defrosted it, and as it defrosted, it sat in all those flavors, and it's gonna really be flavorful. So anyway, I'm gonna um, toast my bruschetta, and then I'll tell you the next step. Okay, ladies, my bruschetta, I have toasted, and it came out really nice. I didn't mention one thing. When you cut your bread, you want to cut it on an angle. And the reason why you want to do that is to have a larger surface to put your topping on. Because when your topping is this good, ladies, you have to have a large surface so that your serving is really good. Okay, what I've done in the meantime is I cut up some shallots. I couldn't do it in front of you because my eyes tear like crazy. I'm very sensitive to onions. Um, I chopped some parsley and I also grated some um, beautiful Asiago cheese um, which I got at the market and I used the um, wide side of the grater so that I got nice thick chunks because this is how we're going to finish this bruschetta. I'm going to put my flank steak in the oven and I'm going to set up to start the sauce and then we'll plate it. Okay, here we are at the stove. What I did was I took a stick of butter and I put it in a sauté pan. And once that gets good and hot, we're going to add the shallots. And once the shallots are cooked and translucent, I'd say maybe, maybe about, um, I'm going to take actually some of this butter out to start and see if we don't need it all. Uh, one, about four minutes. And then you're going to add your mushrooms, your shiitake mushrooms. So here comes the shallots. which are sliced in nice rounds. You want them to be a little bit hearty. And I'm going to cook those down for about four minutes. In the meantime, I have my flank steak in the oven. I'm watching that very carefully because I only want to cook that a few minutes. It's going to go back in the oven once we set it up. And I do like my steak rare. So, it, uh, uh, you know, it has a lot of flavor and it's tender. Okay, ladies, you can see the shallots are starting to get translucent. They smell wonderful. We're going to start to add our mushrooms. You want to leave them nice and big um, because they're going to cook down a bit. Mushrooms are like sponges. They absorb all flavors. So that butter and shallot is going to really do nicely with these uh, big, beautiful, sponge-like mushrooms. Now this should cook, cook down quite quickly. Okay, as you can see, the mushrooms are browning nicely, and I just want to show you, I've taken out the flank steaks, and I'm going to let them sit for about maybe five to seven minutes so that all the blood, all the blood, all the juice <laughs> travels back into the meat, and it's juicy. Okay, so let's get back over to our saute pan while that sits. I'm also going to set that up with a foil tent um, to keep in some heat. All right, now, here comes the important part. We're going to add some fresh sage, which goes very nice with the woodsy flavor of the mushrooms. And we're going to add some fresh parsley. And we're just going to stir that around. Oh, this smells so good. Okay, now comes the creamy goodness. I'm going to start with a half a stick of cream cheese. Now what I want you to do is I want you to have a little beef broth. If you don't like beef broth, you can certainly use vegetable broth or chicken. Uh, this happens to be beef stock. You can uh, have a, just a, 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 maybe a cup, cup and a half of that. A little heated and off to the side in case you need 
uh, some more liquid to break this up, which I'm going to use just a splash, just to deglaze the pan and scrape up all the goodness of all these flavors that we just married together here. And you can see it's going to be really creamy and really good. Okay, our mushrooms have come together. They're really creamy. We're going to just do some pepper. And there's going to be a lot of salt in the Asiago cheese, so I'm going to hold off with the salt. I'm going to just put one more drop of broth just to loosen up the sauce. Okay, you can shut that because we are ready to slice our flank and set up our bruschetta. Hi, here we are again. Okay, we're going to get ready to cut up our flank steak. You want to cut it on an angle. Again, that would make the steak most tender. You go against the grain. And this is cooked perfectly. So, I'm not going to bore you with the cutting of the flank steak. I'm going to help you show you how to set up your bruschetta. And we're going to put it under the fire. The broiler fire, that is. Guys, this is so good, and you're helping me a lot, out a lot because, as I told you, I'm having guests tonight, so I am really setting up myself up for tonight's guests, so this is going to be work out really well. What you want to do is you want to take some of that flank steak, and you want to put it on your bruschetta toast. Now, I had told you that this would also make a great entree, so what we're going to do is, with the long pieces I have here, um, the big pieces of bread, which I had toasted, I'm going to put this other whole flank on there, or most of it anyway. I'm going to cut the pieces a little bit bigger for that. Okay. And here we go. So doesn't that look delicious already? Like if you could just smell what's going on here with the sage, and the mushrooms. Okay, this is going to be the top for the sandwich, so you're not going to need that. All right, now let me get a spoon. Okay, what we've done here is I have spooned some of this creamy, delicious mushroom sauce over our flank, which are set up on our bruschetta toasts. And now we're going to take some of that cheese that we sliced and we're going to just place it on top. And then we're going to put this back under the broiler. And you are just not going to believe how good this is going to be. This is a really hearty appetizer. Or like I said, this is going to be a great entree with a nice side salad. And of course a great glass of red wine. Maybe a Pinot Noir would go well with this. I'm going to put this in the broiler. And I'll show you what it looks like when it comes out. Okay, ladies, I want, to, I want you to see them come out of the oven while they're bubbling. We boiled them till the cheese got really bubbly and brown. And here they come. Oh my God, look at this. This is delicious. I'm going to set these up on my beautiful platter that I have here. And then I'm going to show you how to finish them. Woo, those are hot. Oh, I better get a spatula. So one. Oh, does this look good? Two. Oh, one fell over. Oh. Woo! Hot, hot, hot. <laughs> Cooking is not for the squeamish, ladies. You ever see um, restaurant chefs? They have hands of steel. They can actually put their hands in things that are burning, burning hot. Always amazes me. Okay, here is the entree version of this, which I'm going to place, if I can find, <laughs> I'm going to place the top on it. Okay, I'm going to hit this with a little parsley, and your bruschettas are really ready to go here. You can hit it with one more thing of salt and pepper if you like. I'm just going to put pepper. And here's your sa here is your sandwich for your entree with a side salad, unbelievable. Let's give it a shot. Wow. Really good. Really messy. 
Well, really good. I hope I see you guys later. Bye.